Robertson found racing pigeons. James here. Oh, have I got a big job to do today. I've got to ship a lot of birds out. Got to ship a bunch of these rockets and I've got to ship a bunch of youngsters. In total, I think I have, what, 15 birds about that I'm shipping. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get these packed up. I always feed them about an hour before I pack them up. And then once I get them and I'm about to put them in the box, I go ahead and top off their crops with electrolytes that I just pump in using a syringe. Usually give each one about 60 to 70 milliliters. So I pump it nice and full. All right, so we're gonna do this. Wish me luck. All right, hopefully I keep this straight. This is the first batch. Let's go get them. All right, there's the first group. I've got them in here. Get you guys to your new owners. Got some Greg Rockets. Got some Cup of Joe and Greek Iris. Flyboy times Athena. We've got 836 times Cuevas Hen. What else do we have? Um, oh, we've got Falco Jr. times 22. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at those beauties. So, one thing that I've just started doing when I ship birds. This is a recommendation from Joe Namelka. is I just rip these things right off. You know, they're made so they can bend right here and then flip in and they're propped open, you know, like this, basically. But, you know, they could get closed and, you know, it can't hurt to have more ventilation. That's basically what it always comes down to, especially in the summer months. The ventilation is going to be key. It's gonna be these birds best friend so we're gonna give them as much as possible thanks for the recommendation Joe or oh, there are some extremely nice birds here in this bunch oh my goodness oh my goodness there are some good ones can't keep all the birds <laughs> One of the downsides to a small loft, I guess. No, that's okay. Got those birds all ready to go. Those are all Robertson Family Racing Pigeon late breads. We got some rockets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I'll be nice and happy in there. Oh boy, there are some nice birds in there. I'm telling you what, really nice birds. They're gonna be fantastic. So I'll ship them as one, put these two together. It'll be one crate. Boy, is it hot today. The Maryland heat and humidity have set in officially. Let's check in on these guys. I have not fed them today, so they're hungry. I'm going to work early, so they didn't get a morning feeding. They're just gonna get two feedings this evening. Let's take a look. I'll feed them, then let's take a look. Here's a sneak peek. Birds are doing good. Look in the nests. Talk about what's going on here. Let me get some food here. Gosh, with the molt, it's like every day there's a new layer of dust on everything. Look at that, that's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. It really is. Okay, let's take a look in here. Too bad time to eat. At least their first round. Okay, so like I mentioned on my last video, check this out. 197, 198, 199, 200, that's it. Oh my goodness, four birds left, the band. Luckily I did buy a 
about 20 extra boys bands, but man, I never would have thought this. Okay, so we do have some youngsters. We got some last round of 278 Marie Curie. Definitely need to clean that nest box out. In here, we've got, oh baby, they're good looking. In here, we've got the last round of Cup of Joe and Greek Iris. Cup of Joe and Greek Iris. <whistles> Look at those guys. A nice black check, T check is what this pattern is called. That's it. Ooh, I can feel that trembling right now. Beauties. And then we've got a nice pied. Look at that. Wow, there's a lot of white in that bird. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, one or two dark flights. Well, that's gonna be a beauty. A couple white tail feathers. Oh yes, oh yes. Nice. Good job, Cup of Joe. Good job, Greek Iris. Well, those are beauties, what can you say? Last round of 836 and the Cuevas Hen. So, obviously two of those bands are going there. And then, last round off of the Poland Grizzle and Black. Now the question is, what color are these gonna be? It looks like they're dark. They're not gonna be white grizzles like that second round was. This one looks like it might be black right there. That one doesn't look black. This looks more like a blue. Could be a blue grizzle or just a straight up blue. Wow, well that's fun. Very nice. These guys are already banded. Oh, crops are packed full. Good job, parents. Good job. Beauties. So again, these are the final 2023 Robertson Family Racing Pigeon Birds. The finals. We've got one Falco youngster right here. Sorry, Falco. Sorry. That one will also get a band. Maybe we'll band that one as. Well, it's either going to be 199 or 200. Cool. Putting that back up for you. We've got two off of Tucson and Little Aztec. And two off of Griffin and Aztec Turquoise. Love, love, love the youngsters off of that pair. And then those two are ready to go off, off onto the floor. All of these are available, just FYI. Oh my goodness. So you can see it's a little bit more crowded in here than it usually is because I've had the Poland birds confined to the aviary while I Make sure they're all healthy. Basically, that's their little quarantine area. So, in another week, I think we're ready to introduce them to the flock. Those are nice looking youngsters. Okay, so yeah, that's all that's going on here in this side.